Hi everybody, this is Sherry from Succulent Babies. In 30 days from now, it will be fall. It seems like August 2020 summer has gone right by us. All our plants, like the roseberry vine that I have right here, has been growing out and is flourishing. I'm sitting here today because I am propagating the beads of this plant. Very simple, very easy to do and it creates more of a vine plant for you for later. As you can see, I have many, many vines. I do sell these on my Succulent Babies Facebook group, and I would be happy if you would like to purchase one. They are only $5 each, and they are amazing. So for you to propagate them, it doesn't take too much, like I said. All you need to do is to know you need a pair of cuttings, scissors, you need a tray and the soil that you could be using in your tray you could be using genzo plants and uh, it's a very good mix of container mix with uh, a lot of good ingredients and i also would suggest you could use the next gardener soil as well okay so let's talk about how good the soil drainage is in here because of the perlite which is the white soil mix inside of the potting soil. This is what just needs to be done. So if you have a big piece of roseberry, roseberry vine, all you do is take it and you plant it into the soil, just like that. Now the end of it is going to give you a little root and that root is where you're going to start that roseberry vine into another plant. Because that one's so long, it's leaning over there. I think maybe I'm going to push it off into the middle. Like right about here. I think that'd be really good right there. So, all you have to do is take them off of the vine. And then plant them and they will start again. Very simple. Now, I got this uh, plug tray. And I like how little it is because... You don't need too much of a root to start these plants off. You can have another container. This is actually like a uh, lipstick holder, plastic one. I like it because it gives you that kind of container, uh, com compacted, uh, compact uh, com uh, component that you need to start your propagation. And this works just as well. And there's many of them. It doesn't matter what color they are, whether they're green, whether they're purple, whether they're uh, kind of reddish. Just put them into the soil like that. Very simple. Now, I only miss these once a week. And I'm keeping them out of the sun because you do not want them to get sunburned at all. And... Uh, that's my video for the day. Please subscribe and like my channel. Please join Cycling Babies on Facebook. If you like to purchase anything, $5 for a beautiful, beautiful cutting is awesome. Affordable and kind to everything and everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day.